Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In this video we're going to add Font Awesome to our Divi website here. We've just got a regular website going on. And if you've not used the Divi theme before, you can download it from a link below. It is a premium theme, but it just keeps getting better and better. I've been using it for years now and, and built countless sites with it. And it's my first go-to theme whenever I'm building a WordPress site. So what is Font Awesome and why do we want to use it? Well, Font Awesome is a, collections of, a collection of icons that I use all the time with bootstrap builds when I'm building bootstrap sites. And although Divi's got some great icons built in, Font Awesome just has a phenomenal collection of icons. Uh, it's free, you can use a, a paid version as well. For our purposes, we're going to use this free version here. And as you can see, it's just got a plethora of great looking icons to use. So how are we going to get it? into our Divi theme. You can do this with a, any WordPress theme, but Divi makes it very easy to you, for you. And also there's a plugin that you can use to do this, but for the Divi theme, this way I find works better and it's just less bulky. So if we go to a site called Bootstrap CDN, and I'll put these links below this video also, it's gonna give us the latest font awesome CSS sheet. Now, this is what we're going to need to copy into the head tag of our Divi site. So what I'm going to do, we've got to write a slight bit of code because we've got to put it in as a style sheet. So I'm going to pull up our little text thing here and write a little bit of code. And it's We've got to tell it where it's going to pull the code from. And inside those two tags is where we're going to put our uh, CSS reference. And then we just want to close it out. So what we've written here, we've got a, an opening pointy tag, link, L-I-N-K, rel, equals, open, double inverted comma, style sheet, S-T-Y-L-E-S-H-E-E-T, close inverted commas, then the link, the href, equals then we've opened and closed another pair of inverted commas there and we've done a forward slash and closed out our bracket there now in between those pair of inverted commas is where we want to copy this link we get that there we just want to paste that in there there we go so this is what we're going to end up with and it's, it makes it seem a little complicated now, but it really isn't. It's just telling this what it is. It's a style sheet. Where do we get it from? And it's pulling it in from this link here. Now we want to copy this. Control C to copy. And let's go to the dashboard of our Divi theme. And we want to go to integration, which is along that top tab there, integration. And we want to add it to the head of our blog here. So all we do is paste that in there. Control V to paste. And there's that line that we copied earlier on. Go down and save our changes. There we go. Got a little green check mark. Now let's go and edit a page and see if we can't add an icon. So let's just add a standard section here. Let's make it three. And we'll just use a text block. And I'm going to just put in some lorem ipsum dummy text, which you can get from lorem I'll put this link below also. It just generates dummy text for web designers like myself that want to put some text in just to see what it looks like, but have no actual content. I'll just copy a line of that and paste it into our page here just so we got a bit of content 
OK, I'm going to find a little icon now. Let's go back to our Font Awesome site. And all you need to do is click on the icons. And I'm going to sort them by free because these are the ones we're allowed to use, the free icons. Once we're here, we can search for any icon on the page by a keyword, say user or whatever it is you have to be looking for. And it'll bring up our the various icons associated with that keyword there. Let's try this one, users. I've just clicked on it. It's opened the actual page for it. And it's got the regular here. And we've got different sizes. We've got times 2, times 3, times 5, times 7, times 9. You've also got the solid version. You've got the regular version, which is an outline. You've got a light version, which is a lighter outline. So we've got the solid version here. And down below, you'll see the code. Let's copy this code. We're going to have to tweak it slightly. So control C to copy. Let's go back to our page edit. We'll drop our text down a couple of lines, give it a bit of space. Now, if we go over to the text tab on the right hand side, let's put our icon that ampersand NBSP is a space. Let's put our icon just above it. Control V. And it's important you do this on the text tab. So it reads it as text. What we're actually going to need to do it says FAS there. We need to knock the S off the end of there. So it's just a font awesome abbreviation. Now when we look at it, our little font should have appeared above our text here. There it is. Now we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller by just adding a little times two or times three after it. So if we go back and let's make it three times bigger, just after the name of the font, we have to put FA again for font awesome, dash, and then however much bigger you want it. I want it three times, so we'll go three X to make it three times bigger. And we can have a look, see it again. As you see, that's made that three times bigger. OK, let's align it to the center. For this, we can go back to our visual. Select everything. And just align it center. Or, of course, in our design tab, we can scroll down and just align everything center. Now when we look at it, it should be center aligned. There we go. So let's do that again. Let's um, we'll just save this one. And let's clone that little box there with the two oblong item items there. Let's edit this one. Just use this address book here. And all we really need to do is copy the name. We don't need to copy everything over this time because we've already got all this stuff. But do remember when you've put it in there, knock that S off. For some reason, it doesn't work with that S. And let's go back to our site and go to the text tab again. There's our font. It's wrapped it in a text aligned center thing because we've aligned it center. And where it says users, we want to replace it with the one that we just copied. Save that. Let's clone that. Do the same. Oops. Do the same again. Open that one up. Back to our font awesome site. And let's just put that one in. I'm just grabbing these randomly. And back to our page. 
and we'll put it where it says address book. Put an extra A on there, that's right, it won't work if you spell it wrong. Save that, update. And let's have a look at our site. So there we have our basic font awesome icons here. Don't look particularly exciting. They are great fonts. Say we wanted them the same color blue as we've got here. Let's see if we can do that. What color blue is this? There's our blue. I'm using Google Chrome here and this is the fantastic Google Chrome inspector just hit the F12 button it'll bring up it'll bring up our inspector panel right here and you can copy things and change things non-destructively so there's our blue I don't even know if I copied it let's have a look now let's select one of these fonts Just to see what it's going to look like. Yeah, that looks a bit better. It's a bit more in line with our thing. Okay, so that works. We're okay with that color. Let's go ahead and do that and perhaps make them a little bit bigger as well. You're a little limited as what you can actually do with the editing on here uh, with the font. So let's go into our text block again. Again, we'll have to do this on the actual text, not the visual, because you've got nothing to work with. Uh, you can try selecting it and changing the color, but it seems to make it disappear for some reason. So we can just put our code in here after our center align CSS here. And just put color, colon paste in that color that we copied put a semicolon and we want to do the same thing with our next two and while we're here let's make them a bit bigger let's put the five times in there let's make sure it's going to work make them a little larger let's have a look there we go I like that blue the larger ones a bit more eye-catching so let's just do the same thing for our others Let's just copy what we've put in there, save typing it out again, save and exit to the next one. There we are after the center paste and we want to make that five times. And same thing for the last one. After the center paste make sure you've got a space in there space color colon color code semicolon and five times we want them there five times save and exit let's save update and take a look at what we've got There we go. Now that looks a little bit better. We've got some nice blue colored icons now. They're a little larger. So that worked out well. Now you're a little limited as to what you can do. You don't want to put too much in, in, in line style CSS in there. So in the next video what we'll do, we'll add some classes to these boxes so that we can add some individual CSS styling in our custom CSS module in the Divi and we can really take it to town and give it hover effects and things like that. So there you go, that's how to add font awesome icons to your Divi theme. I hope that's been useful to you. If it has, please subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in web development, please take one of our courses below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers and we've also got some great free courses down there. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.